actually two things that made me want to be an instructor. Uh, the first one was I took the experienced rider course about six or seven years ago and just had a complete blast on it. Uh, it was fantastic and I thought this would be so cool to be able to teach and take others through. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's one of the main reasons. The other one uh, was two people that I worked with were instructors uh, with the Saskatchewan Safety Council and they were saying, Brent, you love motorcycles. You should really be an instructor. It's a great group of people. You'll love working for the Saskatchewan Safety Council. So, uh, so I gave it a try and uh, the rest is history. Uh, definitely a sense of satisfaction. Uh, there is, it's really rewarding to see people that have never driven a standard or been on a motorcycle and they come in on a Friday night and, and, and don't even know up from down and by Sunday they're, um, they're riding around going wee and having, uh, having so much fun, right? Um, and also uh, on the experienced rider course, uh, the thing I like about that is you get to push people's limits a little bit. So we get in experienced riders in uh, that know how to handle their motorcycle already and being able to take someone that has been riding for a long time and, and push them a little bit farther and grow their skills a little bit more, that's quite rewarding. You know, one of them was uh, one of the Air Force pilots took uh, the motorcycle course, the, the BRT, the basic course. And uh, when we were talking about the need to, to practice and how it's a skill you lose if you're not constantly doing it, um, he said that was very much in alignment with, with what they do and, and it was very similar training to uh, their work on the, on the jets and, and flying in the military that it's a skill that you constantly have to keep up and really develop the, the natural reflexes to do. Uh, and so uh, it was really interesting to hear the similarities between riding a motorcycle and, and uh, you know, flying fighter jets. So. That's a good question. Does everyone say that's a good question when you ask it? Supportive, I guess, would be the one that I would, uh, I would say. Uh, and I, I wouldn't say I was necessarily always that way or started out that way. Uh, when you're instructing, you're looking for, for people's faults and what they're doing wrong and trying to tell them, um, you know, how to correct that. And it ends up being a lot of, no, do it this way and you're doing this wrong. And uh, I wasn't giving enough positive feedback and, and that uh, is something that, you know, working with other instructors, seeing them do it and seeing the effect it had on the students as you're, you're telling them, great job, that was perfect, you did that perfectly, do that again, um, and giving the, the positive reinforcement with, uh, with the, I would call it constructive criticism, uh, is, is really, really important to the job. Um, I've owned pretty much everything under the sun, so um, if I got into that, that would be, a, I think, a long list. Um, Last year I had six motorcycles. Um, I've pared it down a little bit, but um, I've had everything from Harleys to uh, muscle cruisers to sport bikes. Pretty much I've always owned a sport bike just because they're uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh, dirt bikes, snow bikes, uh, and, and motorcycling in the snow in the mountains essentially. Uh, so pretty much a little bit of everything. Uh, this one, uh, my midlife crisis bike maybe, I, I don't know. Um, I've always had Japanese sport bikes and I wanted to try something different. And uh, when they say uh, the Italians do it differently, they really do. Um, it's, uh, you know, probably one of the most impressive combinations of uh, engineering design, uh, user experience when you're riding the bike and and just 
you know, being visually appealing, like the design aspect of it too, from an aesthetics point of view. It's just, uh, it really is a stunning bike and I would say definitely the best sport bike I've ever owned. Just fantastic all around. camaraderie on the instructors definitely keeps me doing it. We uh, do some group riding together and just have a lot of fun when we're teaching the course and I think uh, you know the fun that we have really is seen by the, the students and really helps the students in, uh, in learning the skills and having fun with learning the, the skills. Just do it. I would say just do it. Uh, if you're at all thinking about it, just do it.